Hey, 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 it is your girl Abby, aka New Age Coat here, and I am lighting the way for those on their way to the lights. And if you want to know why I was laughing so hysterically, you definitely have to make it to the end of this video. And please check out the Realm of Prosperity's YouTube channel, which I will link below, which is hosted by the amazing, the beautiful, the miracle worker, Ariana, who provided me with my first ever quantum healing hypnosis session, which I'll be talking about in today's video. So what is quantum healing hypnosis? Quantum healing hypnosis technique was developed by Dolores Cannon in over 45 years of groundbreaking work. And her technique involves inducing an individual into a trance-like state through visualization. This state occurs naturally and it usually happens for people about twice a day and it's experienced usually um, the moment just before you're waking up and you become conscious and then the moment right before you drift off and fall asleep. And through Dolores' exploration and creation of her own technique, she discovered that there is infinite that there is an infinite knowledgeable and powerful aspect of each individual that can be contacted and can be communicated with. This is part of ourselves and everyone has access to it and it's always present with us and it lives and exists just below the surface of our conscious mind. So she chose to label it as the subconscious, but many people refer to it as the higher self, uh, the super conscious, whatever, they all mean the same thing. But for her, for Dolores, she calls this the subconscious. And the subconscious is what gives Dolores and all of the practitioners that have learned her technique uh, the ability to access past lives, um, to access that infinite universal knowledge of any and everything. And it performs instantaneous healings if that's what's needed and appropriate at the time. So also the subconscious, it will share information only if it's appropriate at that time and if it's a benefit to the individual. And I found that really interesting and I had to ask my practitioner after my session um, about that because there were moments that my subconscious said, I don't know as an answer. And I found that really fascinating that this infinite source of knowledge didn't know a certain answer. So, you know, she had to explain that that was normal and that that applies sometimes when, you know, it, it's not the right time to be able to kind of provide that information. Why do people want to do quantum healing hypnosis? People come to a quantum healing hypnosis session for many reasons, and there's no right or wrong reason to do it. Some come out of sheer curiosity. Some have questions about life purpose, about their health, about ailments they're having, um, just family work, you name it. Um, but overall, the consensus is that clients really want to just better understand their life, why it's been the way it has, why do they keep doing certain patterns or why do certain themes keep coming up? And then most importantly, how to move forward in the best way possible. So with that said, you're probably wondering why I chose to partake in a session. If you've been following my YouTube channel, you will know that I don't believe in coincidence coincidences anymore since my spiritual awakening. And my practitioner, Ariana, the realm of prosperity, again mentioned at the start of this video and I'll link below. She showed up in my life and it was in a very unexpected, surprising way to me, but of course it was divinely orchestrated and right on time. But it was without me ever really knowing that this was something I needed to experience to take me to the next spiritual level. And it's a beautiful YouTube love story, let me tell you. Once upon a time, one lady started a YouTube channel. One day, long after that, another lady started her own YouTube channel. The lady who started the YouTube channel first, she comments on the second lady's YouTube channel that she happened to stumble upon. That comment led to the ladies connecting via email. That email led to ladies connecting via a video conferencing call. That video conferencing call led ladies to feel like they have known each other their entire lives and that they were meant to meet. It was that feeling of instant trust and chemistry and connection that led the ladies to journey through a quantum healing session together in which it was confirmed that they will live happily ever after, supporting each other, mentoring each other, and guiding each other to continue spreading their light, their love, 
and their truth to the world. Help each other. Grow together. I like Abby. I wouldn't mind doing that. She's very positive. I like that. Yes. Is that how I knew how to reach out to her? She help you. You help her. Okay. What? Yes. So I should push her? Yes. What should I uh, push her with? Explain. You know. You know. So I explain things that she might not understand? Yes. And that it's normal? Yes. It's okay. And she's going to be fine? Yes. Okay, I'll do that. What can she help me with? Open up those doors. Don't be afraid. No. Friend. Yep. I should open up more. Yes. And friends? told you it was a beautiful YouTube love story, right? So now that you heard our beautiful YouTube love story, let's talk about what actually happened in my session and how I prepared. Ariana could not have made my session or experience overall more comfortable, more enjoyable, or easier than she did. She is a trusted certified QHHT practitioner, that's for the quantum healing. She's an ordained minister and an honorary doctorate of metaphysics. And while she has all those fancy titles, I just call her my angel. <laughs> She's a testament to the fact that the universe will bring you what you need, when you need it, who you need, when you need them. So to actually, again, like I started saying, to prepare for the session, you're gonna wanna know about a few things. The first one being time. So overall, from start to finish, a session can take anywhere from two to four or five hours. And you'll wanna be sure that you've carved out that time needed um, if you're trying to schedule anything before a session or after a session. And honestly, I wouldn't even recommend doing that. It's always nice to keep time before and after just for yourself to be able to reflect and to process and just to be able to give yourself some space with yourself. But again, that decision is yours. I'm just uh, letting you know that you will need a good chunk of time. Number two is questions. You will need to come up with your own questions. So I was advised to come up with a list of as many questions as possible, and they could be anything from what's my favorite color to what is my life purpose to why do I keep recreating X pattern or how do I release that, etc. And it can be any question, any theme, no topic is off limits for you. My questions for my specific session, they centered around themes of, um, you know, the typical what is my life purpose and what's stopping me from abundance or themes around confirmation of some of my spiritual experiences that I've had so far and what to expect um, next in terms of my spiritual awakening and journey. And then just overall themes for questions around my own fear and kind of a request for clarity on some tr some past traumatic experiences. Next, you will need technology and a comfy spot. So on the day of the session, um, if you're remote, which yes, <laughs> you can do this remotely. And this did confuse me at first too, because I thought, you know, how? That doesn't even make sense. Like, how can you feel the energy? Or, you know, do you get the full experience? And trust me, first-hand experience, it does not matter. This is absolutely doable, possible, and real by doing this remotely. Um, so if you're remote, you simply get your bed or couch or your, your spot set up comfortably because you're going to be there for a while and you get your laptop set up in a way that is going to allow the camera to be facing you at all times and some headphones and you go and call into some sort of screen sharing, video conferencing kind of technology, which should be provided by your practitioner. Um, that way they'll be able to monitor you, hear you and see you throughout the entire journey. The next thing you'll want to do is really think about your intention and expectations overall. So once we got our technology squared away, you know, the next few hours we spent talking, going through each of my questions meticulously so that Ariana could understand the context of the questions, get a little bit more clarity on them, and just try to understand my overall expectations for what I wanted to get out of my session by asking the questions that I chose. And I was so comfortable with Ariana who in reality at this point in time is still 
pretty much a stranger, and I told her things that I have never told a soul before, some things I've never even uttered out loud before. And again, I just think that that is a testament to her and her essence overall. And you'll hear her voice in some of the clips I'm gonna share or just by checking out her channel. And just even in listening to her voice, I'm sure that you can also hear just how compassionate and how caring and how sensitive and just genuine she is. And it is a gift. And you know what? I give my intuition kudos for this as well. Because yes, it, melts, it might sound absolutely crazy that I trusted um, such a personal, sacred experience and space to someone that I didn't know or I didn't really know their true intentions. But of course, I listened to my gut and the signs that I got before my session, confirming that, yep, it's okay. You want to do this and you want to do this with Ariana. And um, ironically, which of course isn't ironic at all or a coincidence at all, there's this one specific angel number that I refer to as my own. Um, and it's happened for me years before I even was spiritually awakened. awakened. And through this conversation we were having, um, it came up uh, that this was my number in our conversation. And Ariana paused and she said, what number is that? And I told her this number and she was astonished and could not believe it. And she was, she was just like, wait a second, that's my number. You know, this is a very significant number from my experience. And she tied that to some instances and experiences she's had with her mother. And it was even the passcode to her phone, which she shared with me. And, you know, the night before the session where I, I sort of like had a panic moment, like, oh my God, like, I don't know if I can do this or if this is the right thing. I had gone to close the curtains in my living room and the car, the license plate in front of my porch was that specific number. Um, so again, it was just my little reassurance, both that she, she said that throughout our organic conversation and the fact that that number came up when I had this moment of panic the night before that was again, reassurance, like, yes, okay, this is, this is okay. You're on the right path. Feel free to do this. But going back to that idea of intention, um, for your session, Ariana is so articulate and she can absorb so much information that's presented to her. And then she's able to really get to the root of what it is you're trying to get out of your session overall. I had over 30 plus questions and she helped me synthesize those all into one core intention. And that was my intention for this session is to get a message that will accelerate my spiritual growth and help me find my voice to speak my truth. And with that intention confirmed, um, we spoke it into our respective glasses of water and we drank that water and then we went into the actual hypnosis session. And I was not disappointed by any stretch of the imagination after receiving my footage back from Ariana and being able to watch it back a few times and piece it together with my own firsthand memory and then integrate everything and really see how that one intention played throughout all of the answers that I really did get back from my higher self. So now the fun part. Now that you have an overall understanding of what quantum healing hypnosis is, why people do it, why I did it, how I serendipitously found my practitioner Ariana and how I prepared for my session and what I expected. Let's get into actual clips from my session and the lessons that I took away from them. For starters, you might notice in some of the clips that my voice actually physically changes. There is the conscious Abby, which is what I sound like speaking to you here now. And then there is the subconscious Abby, um, my higher self who whispers and has some sort of slight hint of an accent and my point is don't be scared or put off by that it is completely normal and it really lets the practitioner know who is speaking so that she or he is able to guide the the session and create techniques for bringing the subconscious back um, in those cases so for example there was one point ariana asked permission um to my higher self um because she knew my conscious self was back, she asked if my higher self could put Abby in a chair, if you will, a, metaphor, a metaphorical chair. And that way she, she could continue speaking to my higher self without conscious Abby coming through. And it worked. And I literally felt like my body at that moment sunk deeper into the bed and I was put into that metaphorical seat. And it was in a very gentle, loving, 
considerate way, but it was really me being back to an observer. So I felt like I was sitting in this chair just being an observer and I was kind of watching this conversation back and forth between Ariana and my subconscious and I was just a part of it, an observer of it and I just wasn't controlling it. And that's kind of how I felt for the whole session, which is why you do remember all of it and you are present for all of it. Does Abby keep coming forward? Yes. Okay. Can you have her maybe sit down and kind of watch the process? Yes. Is she letting you? Yes, I pushed her back. Okay. Yes. The second thing I want to point out is that while this video started off with that hysterical laughter, I wanted to take it back to a serious note. This technique of, you know, quantum healing, hypnosis, it is meant to heal you. It's in the title. And that's physically, that's spiritually, that's emotionally. It's all of the ways. And while there were moments of intense happiness and giddiness and laughter, there were also intense, intense moments of pain, of sadness, of just releasing all of that as well like the clip that I'm about to show. And it might be hard to watch at first, but I have to say that I woke up that next day and every day since not having to deal with that pain anymore, not having to deal with that weight anymore. Like I texted Ariana the next day, like I feel like a million dollars. Like I feel like I could conquer the world. Like I'm new, I, that's it. It's I've let it all go. And that's a direct result of my session. Is there a reason why she said unable to communicate? Sad. Okay. Okay, what is she sad from? Okay, you're releasing. You're releasing any discomfort right now. Can you communicate to me what Abby is sad about? Okay, now that that real truth is out of the way, the rest of this is uh, onwards and upwards and a little bit more lighthearted. Another beautiful lesson I learned is that I do have a life purpose. And overall, my life purpose is to just be me. It's to communicate my truth with others around me, my friends, my family, strangers, through YouTube, my presence is a gift. And yes, that is a play on words, but hey, that is what my higher self told me. And I know that sounds conceited. And when I got that message from my higher self, I was also kind of like, wait, what? that's it? Like, that's so anticlimactic. And what am I supposed to do with that? That is so vague and it's not useful. Um, so first, let's check out that video of, of my higher self telling me that. supposed to be doing something else for work? Yes. What is she supposed to be doing? People. Can you repeat that? People. So what about people? What should she doing? Should be doing for people? people? How do you think she should help people? Teach. Is there anything in particular you think she should teach? Presence. Can you say that again? Presence. Presence? Yes. So you think she should help people teach about their presence? No. Her presence. Oh, okay. So what you're saying is with her presence, right? Yes. You don't know what that field looks like. You just know she has to be here um, with her presence. And then, of course, because there are no coincidences, the day after my session, I was watching a Dolores Cannon, again, the creator of this whole technique and process. I was watching one of her YouTube videos about the three waves of uh, why people come to earth and what they come to earth to accomplish, in which she explains the second wave and the purpose of the second wave like this. The second wave I found would be in their 20s, 30s, maybe some over into the 40s. And when I'm doing them, they are, they said they are called antennas, generators. They're here just to generate positive energy mm -hmm. to affect everyone else. Said those kind of people can walk through a crowded mall or a store 
and their energy will affect anyone that is there. Yes. Not consciously. They don't realize what they're doing. But their energy is supposed to be generated to affect other people. And I've had people come and say, what's my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing here? And the second wave, they'll usually say, you're just to be. And they don't like that when they wake up. They say, but I wanted to be doing something. Overwhelming resemblance, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The next thing I want to note is again, or not even note, but stress, because I brought it up earlier in the video when you prepare, but it's around intention. And from my intention, which was part of it was, help me heal my voice to speak my truth. My higher self delivered on that intention again, which is why it's so important to set one up front. And in the first parts of my session, my energy got stuck in my throat and I, I physically couldn't actually swallow. But by the end of my session, I was laughing. And um, you know, in that five minute clip, um, of my hysterical fit of laughter that Ariona posted on her channel, where I say, I see blue. Um, that blue is representative of the throat chakra, one of the seven energy centers in your body. And it symbolizes that I, I am healed. I am healed through this session to speak my truth, to be able to authentically be myself and that YouTube is part of this life purpose. And for context too, I created my YouTube channel on February 7. 27 being a very important number, like I always say for my channel and overall. Check out my first YouTube video um, linked below about how the universe told me to create it and the symbolism around that number 27. But it's how I got here to be able to speak to you today. Why I call that out is because today is March 27. And today is the day when coincidentally, not planned, Ariana posted a video of me talking to my higher self in hysterical laughter about YouTube. Again, not a coincidence. And while I was hysterically laughing um, in that video that she posted, because yes, it was so just ironic that here I was in a session talking to my higher self uh, where I could tap into infinite knowledge and ask anything in the world that I wanted to know. Here I was having a conversation just about YouTube. You know, it struck me as very funny from that aspect, but more so, it was really about confirming from my bones i felt through that laughter that youtube is my thing you know like it is where i get to be me and speak this truth and be authentic and all that stuff i said so it's just a major source of my happiness and it satisfies my soul and it's helped me again find my voice so that i can share these messages and these lessons from my journey therefore lighting the way for those on their way to the lights. So check out the videos, um, you know, that show kind of that progression from the beginning of my session where I couldn't swallow, the healing that I was giving, and then the infamous, I see blue. Is there something that Abby needs to pay more attention to? Body. Okay, spiritually or physically? My throat. She needs to focus on her throat? Yes. Can you tell me what's wrong with her throat right now? It's hard to swallow. Is there something blocking that? No, no sound. No sound? So she's having a tough time communicating? Yes. Can we provide some healing energy to her throat? Are you providing that healing energy there right now? Okay, how can we clear that up for her to be able to make more sound? Talk. Is talking to me right now helping this? Yes, I feel like it opens my mouth to go through my mouth. Okay, is it clearing that up? Yes. How does it feel? Good. I can swallow. Was Very the good. laughter part of me talking about the YouTube channel? <laughs> I see blue. My throat. <laughs> That's good. That's very good because... Now you're going to be open to communicating your truth, Beth. 
But another lesson I got was, yes, Abby, you do get signs from the universe and you're not crazy. And my higher self in my session confirmed that I am given signs and symbolism through numbers and I'm able to kind of interpret the meanings. But here's a clip on my higher self confirming, uh, we are sending you signs, baby. Communicate to her regularly? Yes. And how do you do that? Signs. What are the signs that you give her? That numbers are right. I'm not of numbers. Yes. Are there any other numbers? They have a specific message to her? All that went to me. Keep going. All same message. Keep going. Okay, so all the double numbers means keep going. Yes. Lastly, I wanted to end with a lesson um, that I got through my session of the reassurance for my initial intention for a message that I needed to hear. And the message that my higher self felt I needed to hear was that this is real. It came up multiple times. This is real. Everything I'm feeling, everything I'm seeing, everything I'm going through, it's absolutely real. And I need to be open and I need to listen to my heart. And ultimately, again, it's this feeling that I will absolutely know whatever I need to know um, to be able to keep going down this path spiritually and life overall and YouTube alike. She wants to know, what does she need to pay attention to to keep herself healthy and strong? Her heart? Yes. What would you recommend she do? Listen. She has to listen to her heart? Yes, love herself. Okay, so she needs to love herself? Yes. Anything else? She needs to love herself and be open. Yes. So is there any message uh, that you want to give Abby? Yes. It, it's real. It's real? That's a good yes. message. Thank you so much for making it through the end of this video. And if you're thinking about participating in a quantum healing hypnosis session, or if you just have any questions or you want to hear more about my experience, please reach out to me. I would be happy to connect. Um, also, friendly reminder, please like, please subscribe, please share my channel. Please remember to tap that bell for notifications on my upcoming videos. And remember that you're awesome and you're powerful and you are just so full of light already. So keep on shining and I will do the same over here. And until next time, signing off.